ليش هيب هوب مع حسان أعزائي المستمعين أكيد مستمرين معاكم في برنامج ليش هيب هوب وحيكون معنا إن شاء الله بعد قليل الفنان الرائع ذا دي جي ذا وان اند اونلي دي جي ليثو سكيلز So we're going to wait until they're connecting, inshallah, I come with us, and we're going to be talking. Hi, Mr. Mayne, I'm Jenna, with you, and a big shout out to my main man, Ayman Tamano, all the way from the Philippines, and of course, Universal Legends, and a big shout out to Al Mustashar, and a big shout out to Abs as well. We are now talking entertainment industry. We're talking about Sina'at Al-Tarfih. What is entertainment industry and what is it supposed to be? وعدناكم أكيد حيكون معانا دي جي ليثو سكيلز اللي هو in my opinion one of the founders of Arabic hip hop movement بس قبل كده هو إنسان and that's what I like about this guy and guess what uh, you know courtesy of the telephone we have دي جي ليثو سكيلز نقول السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام بخاف my brother salute to you and sorry for keep you waiting no problem bro it's always good to talk to you how is Beirut الحمد لله Oh, amazing. Like the region, but we're all good. We're keeping it moving. DJ Lethal Skills, uh, we are now talking entertainment industry, and I know you have a lot of um, yeah, any insights on that. Your thoughts on the entertainment industry in general, now, nowadays? <laughs> yeah, nowadays we're talking. Uh, yani, the music industry, uh, unfortunately, uh, it's uh, all the bad music is out there. Uh-huh. In my opinion, I'm on most of it. And uh, the best way to get access to the good music is to switch off your radio, turn off your TV, and uh, go to your Sunday market every Sunday where you buy old records or whatnot, or go online and, and, and look out for the non pop artists that you don't hear about them on the radio. Because right. that's where the good music is. So, it- anyway, the, 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 the industry is not like pushing the good music out there, unfortunately, or the good artists out there. They're just kind, kind of like pushing the simple music and its content and. You know, I, music is to elevate minds and stuff like right. that. Right, I hear you. But for the people who are tuned in, me and you will have, and especially myself, I have a long journey from my blogging days. And now my question to you is, what do you think about the word balance? Don't you think there is no balance at all? Like they all, they all, everything that's playing right now is somehow, like you said, khafif and commercial and there's no message at all. Why don't they play that, that stuff? You know what, what? What? What's? What's the purpose? What do they want to achieve? Right. In my opinion and my personal finding so far, what I think they want to achieve, they want to achieve people not to be educated. Uh-huh. Anything that empowers uh, people not to be educated and awake and aware, it needs to shut down, or they don't. It's not. It's not going to have support to be yeah. pushed out. Mm. يعني like as you said هلأ مش رأيي إنه all the music خفيفة مواضيع ما فيها شيء جدي ما فيها مشين إنه يعني and it's all the same thing حبيتك وحبيتك واشتغلتك واشتغلتك and it's all like the same yeah. all but so I don't know like uh, yeah. Yeah. you know all this stuff Skills. unfortunately it doesn't like We're talking about hip hop. In, in in your opinion, yani, how is hip hop portrayed? Okay, yani, a lot of people now tuning in. They're asking me questions. They're saying, you know, okay, uh, you know, there's a lot of hip hop in the commercial hip hop. It's not reflecting what the true image of hip hop is all about. How is hip hop portrayed in this whole entertainment industry? When hip hop started, it was looked at differently because people that saw the movement when it started, it was the the. And you know, the commercial scene was like the real hip hop, which is conscious hip hop, stuff to wake people up, stuff to, uh, uh, you know, like motivate people to do something, to get out of a situation, to work on themselves, to get better. It's all like positive stuff. But uh, nowadays, unfortunately, as you said, the media is pushing the, the bad side of hip hop, you want to say, or the commercial front, or the, the, the entertainment side of hip hop, and not the. And again, I say this is in parallel with the education. If you look around the world, mm-hmm. most of the governments outside, they don't, if you look at their expenditure, when it comes to academic and helping uh, students and whatnot, it's not really one of the main things that they have going on. At least I'm talking about the space which musically influences the rest of the world as a, as a main and, and Europe and stuff like that. I know you have so a good I answer for this one. In, Skills. And I believe personally, music goes in parallel with education. Sah. In your opinion, so in, like, in your yeah. opinion, skills, do you, do you think that good hip hop, yani the hip hop, the the good genuine hip hop, can it sell? Can it sell for those record labels people that are tuned in right now, saying that all okay. what it can sell? So go ahead. I know you have an interesting answer for this. 
Yeah, like tell you the truth, the music industry nowadays is so much different than how it used to be before. Nowadays, artists needed the label, needed all the stuff to get the tools to promote the music. And where nowadays we live in the days where the artist can do everything on his own. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now this is like the new times of how the music industry game is. It's not about being signed and getting paid and living. It's not about that. It's about making good material, enough material to expand your fan base globally, depending who you're trying to reach out. And you make your money through performing and selling merchandise. And the really loyal listeners to you that would download, that would pay 99 cents a song that yeah. I don't know how long the artist took time to make and how many people got involved. So the whole game of the music industry is different. But for me personally, I've been traveling, alhamdulillah, around the world and I've been uh, involved with a lot of, uh, now as you know, I've been in the wide for the Far East. And really when I step out of the region, yeah. I get to see really hip hop is out there and being supported by the government. Mm. Uh, because the hip hop out there, like now, uh, personally in Malaysia, I'm working with something called the movement. And this organization, what they do, they do, it's a non-profit organization. Nice. And they organize battles every month for the local scene. Yeah. Uh, they do a community work. We encourage the youth through music to go and do community work. Go support the neighborhood. We take them to orphanage house. We take them to elder house. Uh, we go entertain uh, old people like this. We go paint uh, some, uh, you know, the sword areas, homes, the slugs, or whatever. Like there's so many initiatives, and all that is being done by hip hop artists by going there, physically getting involved with the work, and then uh, engaging with the kids and performing to them and uh, helping them how to write, how to express. So hip hop is a great tool if it's used in the right context. Uh, it doesn't need have, have to make you dance to be good hip hop. Mm, good yes. hip hop is about making you feel uh, that feeling when it touches your soul and you you, you get touched and you want to stand up, you want to speak up, you want to express up, you want to you know. You know skills when but hip hop back, started. When hip hop started, uh, it, it used to be the DJ was the backbone of the group or whatever. Where, where do you think this is happening? Because right now all I see is 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 the MC. When it first started, it was DJ, like you said, that's right. And then, you know, uh, the MC, and then the, at some point, the industry started portraying the B-Boys. So you go out to mm -hmm. TV, you see uh, ads for commercial products with dancers uh, yeah. holding a phone, holding a can, holding, you know. Uh, but as an element of the DJ, the DJ is always there. Because this is the heart of what the MCs need to get on the DJs, the right. one who put the beats, who choose the right stuff to engage with the crowd and take them through the journey. And now with the technology coming in, anyone can kind of like play music without really learning the skill of how it is to really DJ. Yeah, yeah. So again, this goes out with the evolution of sound. But there's a lot of DJs around the world, they still spin on vinyl, they still do some tables and you go out there, you see them doing live remixes. Yes. Getting stuff from the 60s and 60s, throwing it with some dubstep, with some <laughs> new stuff. Like, yeah. like, it is out there. It is out there. But like, unfortunately, in the Middle East, right, right. we don't get to see those things because it's been new. And even though we've been doing this for, I don't know, two decades so far, wow. it's still new. Because as you said, and I know you've been struggling by continuously trying to spread the awareness about what is hip-hop and what yeah. is the culture. Yeah. And what is the good stuff. And and this all comes together again, inshallah. Once we have enough awareness in the region, I'm sure, like, look at uh, our boys, I really nice two days ago, they posted a song. Mashallah, great track. And, and, yeah. and the style of the hip-hop, they're using rhyme and whatnot. Like there's so much renaissance in the Arabic movement when it comes to music. Uh, not just as hip hop, you know, as hip hop also uh, fusing with other elements. A lot of people so are tuned I, in uh, right now. Skills, uh, I, I think Miss uh, Safa is tuned in as well. So shout out to all the people that are tuning in. Thank you very much, DJ Little Skills. All, all the people, you you are one of the few people that I consider the any hatul hip hop Arabi ala as we say. As as a last word, what do you what do you tell all the Arab hip hop artists that are right now that are tuned in all over the world, and especially from Saudi Arabia? What is the message from the one and only Skills to them? The only thing. I can tell everybody who's listening out there, the only thing we can all make it as one is to unite. And that means uniting, not necessarily, I have to collaborate with this and I need to get a beat from that and I need to have skills to scratch from my track. I mean unite and mind first. Uh, align our processes of how we think, of uh, what we want to see it change, what we want to uh, foresee for the future, what we want to see it in the kids' minds that are listening to our music, you know? We really come and bump, so we are responsible. And uh, united, we conquer and divided, we fall. Wow. That's my word for right. in, in a nutshell. DJ and, Lethal uh, Skills, people can follow you on at uh, on Twitter at DJ Lethal Skills. What's uh, any uh, what's what's your new stuff? What can we look forward to?
And inshallah, I'm working on a new album for this year. I'm working on a new mixtape with uh, with you, actually. It's yes. called Al-Jisr, with a new edition. Al-Jisr. We're trying to bridge uh, yeah. the Middle East and Far East in pop culture. Uh, there's a lot of good rappers out there. I've been meeting in the Far East and, and good people doing amazing stuff. So I would like to bridge both cultures and nice. open, inshallah, to the youth ways to collaborate with people from the Far East, tour, travel, exchange ideas, uh, collaborate on music. So... Great. And there are going to be a lot of new production, a lot of collaborations. I'm doing a lot of scratching in 2013, a lot of tracks all over the place. SubhanAllah. And beats and stuff. So. Skills, God the bless you, man. On Twitter. Respect, well, God bless you. Tahiyati League, DJ Lethal Skills, thank you so much for your time. I know you have a gig right now, so good luck. Go spin some heads and uh, yes. just be my, my, my wish to you as, as a person, you know, hush to you, just stay who you are and stay real, man. That's it. Much respect, brother. Well, thank you very much for hosting me on Mr. Fam. And uh, Lace Hip Hop, you know the deal. Listen, every week, baby. That's how we do it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Skills. Tahiyati, all shout right, out brother. to all your family and all my Good people up. in Beirut. Thank you, Skills. Thank you to all of you, Stefan Staff. Salam. Peace. All right. Kama'ana, Aki, DJ Lethal Skills, mashallah alayhi. Uh, great dude. A great, a great dude. Kalamna Entertainment Industry. Kalamna Sanaat al A great guy. Follow him at DJ Lethal Skills. Lish Hip Hop, Mahasan.